Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another Cheapskate Coins auction preview video. So we're going to start off with these cool things. Figure, you know, Christmas is coming up. People are going to be looking for gifts. And I saw these and I figured these would make some really cool gifts for people. Especially if, you know, somebody who's trying to, you know, get into collecting or you want to try and get somebody into collecting. This would be a great way to do it. So you got this one that's all... Uh, first off, these are plastic. They're not glass. So you don't have to worry about them breaking. And these are wooden frames. So you got this one. That is the V-nickels. These are all V-nickels. And these are actual V-nickels that are in this. And then you got this one. That is the Buffaloes. These are all buffalo nickels. This one's all Indians. And then this one is a collection of Lincoln cents. And a, a reproduction of the colonial Washington cent from 1783. That's not the real one. It is a copy of it. It's a reproduction. So don't get too excited. So that, you know, this might make some cool gifts for somebody. All right, next up, coming over to the other table. We got a bag of 130 foreign coins, ranging from dates from 1895 to present. And as you can see, they are all already in two by twos. They're all labeled so you don't have to worry about labeling anything and there's a 48 a 23 lots of dates in there so that's gonna be one lot and then we got some proof sets that left over from the other night this isn't everything that's going to be in the auction, by the way. This is just mainly the, the new stuff. I thought you guys might like these. So for anybody who's never seen these before, these are actual mint dies. These were actually used in the production of the coin that is with it. There they you know, file it flat once it's done use, being used. But each one of these has a serial number on it. And then... Pull this. This is your certificate of authenticity. And there you see. This particular one was used in Philadelphia. It's got the serial number. It's a quarter for the Texas circulating coin. Uh, service date, press number, press type. Number of strikes, retirement date, and why it was retired. So we're gonna have two of those available in our auction. Now I wanna make sure everybody's aware, these things are heavy. That is, I mean, I don't know if you can hear. That is a solid hunk of steel. And that's heavy duty steel to be able to last doing the job that it had to do. So figure if you want one of these and you get one of these, that's going to automatically bump you to probably the highest shipping. Because those things are very heavy. Alright, so we got a cool set of wheats. This is the, all the World War II dates. So, you got the 43s, the 44s, the 45s. And then we got a couple of steel scent sets here. Gives you the Philly, Denver, and San Francisco in really nice shape on each one of these. We've got a 
1987 Silver Eagle. This was only the second year of production of the Silver Eagles. All right, coming down here, we've got a capped bust half dime. We have a seated Liberty half dime. We have a cap bust dime with the high three. This is the 1833 with the high three. This is an 1853 seated Liberty dime. Uh, this is a, a really nice, shiny 1929 Merc dime. In beautiful condition. All right, we got an 1806 George III half pence from Britain in fine condition. Uh, if, anybody, if any of you saw the the couple of videos that, that Ken Peavy did when I mailed him the, the copper slicks. This is what some of those coins look like when it's not just a slick. And then this one is an 18 or a 1738 half penny from Britain in good condition. I'll get to this one in a minute. That's kind of the star of the auction this week. All right, we got an 1853 quarter. This is the Seated Liberty quarter with arrows and rays. We've got four Washington quarters, 32, 34, 35, D, and 36. A Seated Liberty quarter, 1854, D. We've got an 1883 Liberty vehicle in VF condition. So anybody who want, has been wanting to get a vehicle that looks really good, we're going to have one. This is the 1913 Type 1 Buffalo. We've got a 1909 USA Philippines 1 Peso. And then the star of the show for, for Monday's auction is a 1753 M.O., that's the mint mark, one real from Mexico in very fine condition. So for those of you that collect reals, you're going to have a shot to get one on Monday. So as I said, this is not everything that's going to be in the auction. Um... This is, uh, of course, as always, anything that didn't sell on, in this case, this past Thursday will carry over again. So if there's anything that you saw that you didn't have the ability to get, don't worry. It will carry over. It will be in our show on Monday. Um, as a reminder, one of the new things that we're doing is we're putting out, um, we have a, an email mailing list. And anybody who wants a copy of the lot list... <coughs> Excuse me, the lot list with what the Charlie bids are going to be. Uh, just let us know. Send us an email that says um, auction list as the subject heading and let us know that you want to be put on that mailing list. And every week we will send you a copy of the, the lot list with the starting prices ahead of time. So that way you can have a chance to go through and study and do, you know, do whatever research you want to do or, you know, if you see something on there and you need to, you know, finagle some funds or shift around some funds, then you have time to, to take care of that. So if you want to get on that list, just let us know and we will put you on that mailing list. Um, we're only, as I do this video, we're only six subs away from 400. And of course, once we hit 400, we're going to be doing the, the announcement of the grand prize for when we do the 500 sub giveaway. So if, if you're seeing this and you haven't subbed to our channel yet, make sure that you sub up so you're eligible for that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to give any kind of comment that you would like down in the comment section below. Maybe one last little overview here. All right. That gives you an idea of some of the stuff that's coming for Monday. 
Again, we start at 3 p.m. Pacific every Monday, with the exception of last Monday because we weren't feeling well, which is why we did it on Thursday. But our normal starting time is Mondays, every Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. All right, so until the next video, I will bid you adieu, and this is Cheapskate Coins signing out.